Built right into EDIUS, there's a Blu-ray and DVD burning application. And it's so elegantly integrated into EDIUS that you can use it to generate a Blu-ray disc, for example, based on a sequence you have open on your timeline. You don't have to think about compression settings or anything like that. Just say, give me this on a disc. Let's have a look at that workflow. So I've got a sequence here and you'll notice I've got in and out marks and my out marks are just going a little bit beyond my content to make sure I have some black video at the end before I go back to the menu system. And I've also got a whole number of markers on the sequence. You add these by pressing the V key and normally you'd use these just as a reference on the timeline but I'm going to use them to automatically generate not just chapters for my video when it plays back but also chapter menus based on a template style. All we have to do is have the sequence on screen, go to File, choose Export, and Burn to Disk. And this is going to bring up the disk burning interface. So we've got some very simple options. All we have to do is work our way from left to right. We choose whether we want to have a DVD or a Blu-ray. If we are going to use a Blu-ray, then it means we've got the option of using H.264 as the codec to store the video information uh, rather than MPEG-2. H.264 is just a, a newer, more efficient way of recording that information. So you should choose it if you can. And we need to decide if we want to have a menu or not. If you don't want a menu, if you say no to this, some of these options are grayed out. You just choose which bit of your project you want in the movie tab. I'll get to this in a second properly. And then you go to the right tab and output your disk. This is great if you want to very, very quickly create a screener to show a client. I'm just going to go back to that basic tab and I'm going to say yes, let's use a menu. And then on this movie tab, we specify exactly what we want to be incorporated into our disk. Now at the moment, I've got my current sequence, but if I want to, I can add another sequence from the project or a series of sequences or even files from my hard drive. So you can construct a pretty complex disk if you want to. Notice also that we need to specify the size of the disk that we're using. EDIUS needs to know the size of the disk in order to calculate the percentage of it that we're using with this sequence. Next up, we go to the Style tab, and there are many, many, many pre-built styles included with EDIUS. And you can use these to generate an automatically styled menu, or you can use that style as the basis for adjustments that you'll make. I'm going to choose a really simple one here. I've got this cloud design I, I kind of like. And we've got some options on the left. I can choose whether to have an automatic layout. Well, I've only got one item anyway, so it doesn't matter. The aspect ratio has to be 16 by 9 if it's a Blu-ray. Do I want to specify a change to the frame rate? Not really. Do I want to say not to have a chapter menu? And actually, I do want to have a chapter menu because I want to show you the results of that. So I'm going to remove this checkbox. See, these are all negations here. This is don't have a chapter menu. And then do you want to not have chapter buttons? Do you want to not have a title menu? So you can choose to exclude parts of the automated design that are part of this burn to disk interface. We can also specify when the user selects a button, what's it going to look like? Do you want to have a border around the item? Do you want to have an underline? And so on. Now, moving on to the Edit tab, we've got access to each individual part of this design. You can click on any part you want and remove things and replace them. I can't choose these buttons because they're part of a background image, but I can change the background image itself. And you'll notice that each of the items in this design are listed over on the right. Select an item, click on Setting, and you can, for example, in this case, I can zoom and, and scale the image, and I can apply some effects. I can replace this image with text. I'm just going to cancel out. You can do that for any item on the list. Most of this, I think, you'll work out for yourself reasonably easily, but if you look at the top right, there's a menu here to choose which of the automatically generated menus you're going to edit. So as long as you can find your way to this menu, you can pretty much work out what changes you want to make to the design. Notice there's even a motion menu option, so if you do replace the background still image with a video clip, you can enable this option, specify a length, and then EDIUS will automatically transcode that to media that will play back and give you movement in the background. Last of all, we go to the right tab, and here we're pretty much really just going to click Create Disk, but you can specify a volume label. That means if you put the disk into a computer, what name will it have? 
You can burn more than one disk if you want. You can choose a different drive if you have more than one. I don't have a, a disk in there at the moment, so I've not got the option to specify a write speed, but you generally will find that the default is fine. We can also enable or disable detailed settings here. So if we want to, we can just burn a disk now. But if you do enable detailed settings, you'll find the option to create a disk image uh, rather than or as well as creating the disk. Now a disk image is a single file that represents the entire contents of the DVD and if you look under the tools menu in EDIUS you'll see that we've got a disk burner tool. Now all that tool will do is browse to an existing image and burn it but in this case we're already part way through the design process so we might as well finish off. We've also got the option to verify the disk after creating it and this means that EDIUS will check the data on the disk to see that it matches the files that are being put onto it just in case there's any problems with the hardware on your machine. If you've got multiple drives then you can use multiple drives uh, with this menu down here. You'll notice I haven't changed any of the settings here though. All I really need to do is make sure I'm happy with the style and edit the menu as much as I want to, change the names of things, go to the right tab and click create disk and EDIUS will take the contents of my timeline, transcode it correctly to H.264 and burn that disk for me that I can put into a regular set-top box. So that's how to burn a Blu-ray disk straight from the timeline using EDIUS.